Okay, this is cellular respiration. And cellular respiration is the process of the mitochondria in animal and plant cells uh, where energy or stored in a form like, like glucose, a chemical energy, is turned into another form of chemical energy called ATP, which could be used by all cells. So cellular respiration is broken into three different processes. The first is called glycolysis. And glycolysis basically means sugar splitting. Lysis means to splitting. So to cut or to split. So glycolysis is sugar splitting. And glycolysis generates a couple different things, and we'll write those things out. First of all, it generates two ATP. So already we're on our way to making some ATP. But it only makes two of them. That's not a whole lot. Uh, glycolysis also um, begins to release some of the carbon dioxide and some of the water. But we first have to know that it makes two ATP. And it makes two molecules called pyruvate. So it makes two pyruvate molecules. So those are the products of glycolysis. That's the first step of cellular respiration. Now this one happens anaerobically. So glycolysis is anaerobic. I'll write that on the side. It's anaerobic, which just means without oxygen. Glycolysis happens with whether or not oxygen is present. Okay. But the next stage is happen only if there is oxygen present. So they're called aerobic stages. The second one is kind of an intermediate stage, and this is the pyruvic acid conversion. Sometimes it's called the intermediate reactions. And all that happens during this is um, no ATP is made, but a little bit of NADH is made. So pyruvic acid conversion makes Here's its arrow. It makes an NADH. It makes some CO2. And more importantly, it makes two acetyl CoA molecules. So acetyl CoA is the starting point of the next cycle. So the pyruvic acid conversion makes NADH, carbon dioxide and two acetyl-CoA molecules. Now, the third step in cellular respiration is also aerobic. So the third step, again, needs oxygen and happens inside the mitochondria. So does this. But now we're inside the mitochondria. So here's the mitochondria. And the third step is called the citric acid cycle. Now the citric acid, here's the mitochondria with its double membrane. The citric acid cycle happens in the matrix of the mitochondria and it is what is taking the acetyl-CoA and kind of, it looks a little bit like the Calvin cycle but acetyl-CoA comes in, acetyl-CoA and out pops some carbon dioxide, some ATP, some NADH, some CO2 again. So it basically manufactures ATP. So the citric acid cycle, also known as the Krebs cycle, let's write that down somewhere. manufactures for for each turn that turns twice for each glucose molecule because you get two acetyl CoA right for each turn generates two ATP uh, two FADH twos and six NADH and it also makes a whole lot of carbon dioxide which is what we're breathing out and then the last step, which we'll have to go into more detail, again is an aerobic step. See, all these things 
are good. The ATP, like 2 ATP from this, 2 ATP from glycolysis, but that's only 4 ATP. These things are nice, but we have to use them for something. So that's where the last step comes in. That's the electron transport chain, which is going to take these electron carriers, which are carrying high energy electrons, dump them down the electron transport chain, which happens in the inner mitochondrial membrane. It's going to dump those electrons down. You can think of little staircases here, which are proteins. And when it does that, hydrogen ions are pumped into the intermembrane, inter between the membranes space. And then they're going to flow through this protein called ATP synthase. And by diffusion, because there's a lot of hydrogen ions here, they're going to flow through ATP synthase. And when they do that, they're going to make ATP. And they're also going to generate some water. That's a real overview.